The COVID restrictions have been relaxed in many parts of the world. After nearly about two years being cooped up, people are out in full force. And sometimes this has also resulted in some pretty tragic results. In South Korea's capital Seoul, at least about 150 people, most of them young adults, died on Saturday due to a crowd crush. But on the same day, a similar calamity was prevented in Jakarta. Now, the Jakarta police shut down a music festival in Indonesia's capital and the event was supposed to run for at least about three days. On Friday, the first day, the organizers saw the crowds of at least about 20,000 people at a time when they were expecting only 3,000. The venue reportedly had a capacity of a maximum of 7,000 people who could be entertained comfortably. But a crowd, several times that number, the stadium's capacity, was allowed to enter. So let's take a look at some of the arrangements that had been put in place by the organizers. The police say that there was only one medical tent at the venue on Friday. It was staffed by just five people. This was when the festival visitors had in fact queued up outside of the tent looking for medical assistance such as oxygen cylinders. Also, the police say that the venue had no emergency evacuation routes and they say that they brought these issues up with organizers after receiving complaints on Friday. They also asked for audience limits and the number of stages to be reduced. More medical tents and better crowd control was also requested and the police say that their requests were completely ignored. Now, the organizers let the revelers enter on Saturday as well and about 21,500 people entered into the premises. There are reports of people fainting. Some were also injured in some of the minor stampedes that were to be witnessed. And it is then that the Jakarta police decided to act. They shut down the event by 10 p.m. on Saturday. An investigation has been ordered about the arrangements that have been made and also the guests who were allowed to enter. The police has said that it wants to find out exactly why so many people had tickets. Indonesia seems to have learned its lesson from last month's tragedy. On the 1st of October, 135 people were killed in a stampede at a football stadium. And investigations have also revealed that at least about 42,000 tickets were sold, but the stadium's capacity was only 38,000. But the overselling of the tickets was one of the key reasons for last month's disaster. An overselling of tickets happened last week as well for the music and dance festival, but of course on a much bigger degree than what happened in the stadium. The police was criticised for shutting down the festival so late in the day as they were already aware of the situation on Friday. After shutting down the venue on Saturday, the Jakarta police proceeded to cancel the Sunday's programme. And the police may have been late to the party, but they did put a stop to it, especially when there was a serious risk of overcrowding in a pretty small venue. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.